This is a disclaimer about the following video. If you expect NAM coverage, like other channels, don't, don't watch this. Go to Anderton's Toman. Many people have covered the brand new gear and talk about the stats and the fiddly bits of the gear. Um, I, however, hang out with my friends and buddies from the brands and silliness ensues and also some attempts at lame jokes, which usually fail. There's also some gear, but that's not the focus. So watch at your own discretion. Get out of our way. This is our new model called the mic. <laughs> oh, awesome. Multi scale. Okay, right. hello YouTube. This is the new Balaga uh, mic. Uh, the logo is on the not on the headstock but uh, below the neck. How much is the mic? Oh man, it's priceless. What kind of wood is the mic made out of? I feel like I shouldn't answer that. It's a dirty question. How do you tune him? Where do you fiddle his bitch? Uh, so so we are we are here at this booth for this man, yes. Mr. Joe. Yes. And um, we all of course know his guitars from the the bearded man. Fluff. Yes. No, no, we don't. We don't advertise other channels here. Okay. I have to beep that. No. The bearded man. The bearded man. The bearded, that dwindles it down. Freaking Fluff has enough views. <laughs> now he's getting. Not more because of my channel. No. Uh, no, no, no. Probably no. not. You'll cut it out, right? That's uh, what editing's for. No, I don't edit. Oh, okay. It's, I'm not getting paid enough to edit. Okay. No. That makes sense. Whatever is happening here is happening. Awesome. So, Real. Um, let's talk about pretty things. Sure. Um, um, we, okay, the two things for me immediately stand out. That's very pretty. Thank you. And then, of course, with, uh, I'm going to say, aluminum. Yep. Gold something. Yeah, it's an aluminum pickguard that's plated gold. Um, this is actually a signature guitar for an artist named Tony Pizzuti from the band The Word Alive. So it's actually a 26 and a half inch scale length. It's a baritone, 24 stainless steel frets. Watch it with all these people down tuning. Don't they know how to really play? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. They tune, I think, to drop A flat pretty low. But Metallica did E and it worked for them. That's true. I don't know. You should listen to The Word Alive though. They're pretty good. Now he's gonna make me listen to music? Yeah. Who's got the time? Okay, Word Alive? Yes, The Word Alive. The Word Alive. That sounds like a religious band. It's not. Good. Yeah. The Word Alive, you heard it here. So you hold this, hold sure. my stick, and I'm gonna check <laughs> this out. This is a lot lighter than I expected. Yeah, it's Karina. So, or some people call it White Limba. I'm usually not a gold guy, but this works. This combination is very, in German we would say edel. Uh, edel Classic. Be, uh, no, no, edel is a... Uh, Kiana, can you please come here? Damn it. English word for edel. Valuable is the wrong word. Very... Classy, high end. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh so you were of no use whatsoever. When am I ever of any use? It's good that I brought you. Thank you. Um, I love the shape of this. Thank you. It's completely awesome that I'm saying I love the shape of this, pointing it towards me and not the viewers. <laughs> right. Which really tells you who the show is actually about, right? Pickup positions? No. Actually, just a three-way with a push pull. I love a good three-way. Simple. Way. Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> See, sex right there. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Noble. 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 I'll take that. That's cool. Okay. So I'm noticing the shape is box. So with this specific model, this has a thin D, almost like a U shape to it. Yeah. But uh, with the rest of the models, it's just my comfy C shape, which is a more of a normal C shape you'd find on other guitars, but a little thinner. Because all of our fingerboard radiuses are 16 inches. So it's a little faster than your normal classic inspired guitar. 
it's it's very unique, definitely very unique shape. And uh, I like it says B on there. What kind of tuners are these? They're mine, Balaguer tuners. They're actually Godo style locking tuners. Okay. They're 18 to 1 ratio. So you make them yourself? They're made for me. Okay. Yeah. And we can't say by who? Well, they're made in the same factory as Hipshot. Okay. So, you can't really say more than that. Very nice. No volute. But not on this model. But you don't need that because you don't have a truss rod up here, right. which means you're not weakening this. Right. Wait, wait, come with me. It's like you actually know about guitars. Yeah, so you're not weakening this. Uh, and also, in terms, it, it's easier to help paint this whole bit because... Uh, There's know, no truss rod cover. It's just prettier. Yeah. And adjusting it is so much faster by using the... Spoke wheel. A wheelie doohickey. I was going to say, the actual technical term is wheelie doohickey. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll have to change the the verbiage on my website. Yes, please. Let's yes, okay. do that. Yeah. Okay. Get it right, Joe. Come yes. on. Um, beautiful lumen lace. Yep. This is not, what's the price on this? Uh, this will be thirteen ninety nine USD. Fuck off. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And it's going to be a production model, so we'll be able to do these in runs. But it's a metallic alpine green is the finish. It'll also come in gloss gloss fiesta red. But that'll have a brown tortoiseshell pickguard. That is awesome. Thanks, man. I mean, for that price. Thank you. Super cool. And cool. this is a one piece. This is not. Yeah, it's quarter sawn, one piece roasted maple. Which, of course, eats up a lot of wood with the with the. It does with the angle. Why am I telling you? You built the damn thing. <laughs> insanely heavy. So this is White Limba. White? This. Also name is Karina. Okay, here we have more of a roundy thing. Roundy thing is of course how Co you call it. Yeah, this. I call it my comfy C. Stainless steel frets, Luma inlay side dots again. And then this one, if you pull up the toe knob, it gives you a little surprise. It gives you kitsch. What's that? I I always think like why? why? Why why? Why not? Good argument. Wait, but but why? Just wanted to do something fun for now. Yeah, okay, good then. No, some people love this. Yeah. I just gave Robert Baker a hard time because he's got that um pink bola okay. with the, the light up yeah. threads and like I was like Robert, come on. <laughs> no. It's not for everyone, but I love the top. Thanks. This is this would be one of my favorite colors on any guitar. Yeah. Uh, generally doing gray is difficult and that's a greenish let's say greenish gray. Yeah. I had one guitar built for about 6k in gray and it ended up too black. Gray is difficult to do, to do. Yeah. because when you think, oh, it's very, very light, I'm going to put more stain on it, yeah. and then you do the high gloss, it's going to get darker. Yeah. So you have to stop when it's just very, very light, and then I actually don't know about these things, but I guess. It also depends on the type of paint you use, too, whether it's polyurethane or nitrocellulose lacquer, etc. What do you use? Polyurethane. We can also do nitrocellulose lacquer on that's, our custom shop. Mojo, mojo, bullshit history that, uh, no, I'm sorry. Right. Uh, tone wood, yes, but nitro paint. I think people just prefer it because they can actually uh, relic it traditionally over time. But it comes with a lot of negative side effects that we don't need anymore. Oh, sure. So what's the Environmentally, price? What's yeah. the price point on this? Without the LEDs, it would be 1099. With the LEDs, it's around 1450. 1099 yeah. dollars. Yeah. Uh, what pickups I need? Those are my own. Uh, they're called Feral Humbuckers. So this is like around 12.5 k resistance, and this is around uh, 8.9 k resistance. So they're a little hotter than a JB set, but they're Alnico five magnets and they're wax potted. And a five-way switch. I love that. Five-way super switch. Yep. It feels very. It feels too close to the knob. If you, if you ask me, I see what you try to do. You try to get it really out of the way to make streamline to make this pop. Yeah. It's when it's here. I I don't really have fat fingers. That feels a little bit close. Yeah. But that's nitpicking on a high level. Okay. It's not for everyone. Personal preference. I originally wanted to do it around here, but 
with a top like this, you don't no, want to no, no, do no, no, that. No. I like that you pushed it way in the back. Tough, tough to say. Uh, okay, one thing I'm going to tell you that I would like to see on this guitar, which is this painted black. Oh, sure. Uh, I reviewed some Schecters, yeah. and they were half painted black. Oh, wow. So it's like you could clearly see that the guys in the factory, they started and then they stopped. And then a lot of my fans bought that guitar. It's a, it's a great guitar, the Apocalypse. But they all reported back to me saying, yeah, I was, I was exactly the same way. They started painting it and then they just stopped. So you didn't even stop. It's interesting. No. Um, but I think... That's an easy fix. Take the pickups out, paint them inside black. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's... But that way, uh, some of the glue residue would disappear. Sure. Which, of course, isn't there. There is, of course, no glue residue. Some of the potential glue residue might disappear. Right. Which, of course, isn't there. No. Because Joe's guitars would never have that. No. No. 1099, come the... Wait, wait, move a little. Oh. 1099. Come the fuck on. Um, that's a matching headstock. It is. Now, this... It's a little bit reminiscent of the Friedman guitars. Okay. Who came up with it first? Well, I've had this design for around three and a half years, so I don't know. Well, then but to be honest, I pulled this inspiration from one of the luthiers that I look up to, and that's Dennis Fano. I was just gonna say who actually the same thing, yeah. He's from like 30 minutes from where I'm from in Pennsylvania. Beautiful. Who, who now has a, a what, Cirrus guitars? I think Novo. Novo. Yeah. And the Cirrus is a model. Yeah, and I think Novo they're guitars. I think they're down in Nashville now yeah. too. Uh, no, I, I like this. It's t it's tough to come up with something new for a headstock. I mean, to to make it elegant and work and everything. Yeah. I I like this, and I like that this. You know what? This reminds me either of a classic sailboat in that brown, or you know the sides of the station wagon from the 70s? Yeah. Nice. The price, nice. The price point is very good. Thank you. So you actually make them, are these US, you make them? Well, I have my heritage series, which are made in the United States, yeah. but I also have my production series, which are made in South Korea. Okay, so this is South Korea? Yes. Doesn't feel like it. Thanks, I appreciate it. All the guitars come back to our shop in Pennsylvania. That's where the trick is. Yeah. Uh, uh, quality control. Yeah. And then we have a too many string guitar. Yeah. Seven is still good. <laughs> seven, seven is still good. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, awesome. Seven strings. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm too weak. Okay. I'm never playing in a band where I need that. Okay. Because whereas these were really light, this has some weight to it. Oh, yeah. Well, it's an ash body, and it has a five-piece maple and walnut neck. And then the top is a burl maple. Everything about this thing is massive. Yeah. Uh, this is a super nice uh, uh, contoured something. Away, yeah. Away, yeah. But the body is relatively thick. It even feels as if it's thicker here than here. Yeah, it's the same thickness. It, yeah. yeah. It, it just looks like it. But the body is massive as well. Yeah. This, this it's slightly is, offset too. This so is it's comfy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, back, 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 back. Here we go. So this is not a guitar for like a small kind of guy. <laughs> it's gonna, it's not, it's not gonna look right. No, hey, it's, it's definitely a bigger super strat type of guitar, but wait, this one. Actually now comes, we're not in the picture anymore. Okay. This one actually comes stock with Fishman Modern Fluence pickups. What option? Do you have voicing option? Voice one and voice two, and then we have a uh, five-way super switch to get all the different coil splitting. Awesome. Headstock reverse, same idea. Yep. Locking tuners. Yep. Staggered? No. But with with the with the angle, you don't need that. No, you don't. Um, and but here we have a standard truss rod. Right. Yep. And still no volute. Is this enough meat? Yeah, it is. Of course you're going to say that. Yeah. You're not going to say, no, it isn't. Well, it's a five-piece neck, so you have to remember. And it's not a Gibson, so it's not going to break. No. I said that. I'm just saying. Because, <laughs> they, because they break. It is quite heavy, though. It is, yeah. It's also quite beautiful. Some people like heavy guitars, some people don't. So We can also use different body woods, too. 
amazing purple base. Can you guys see this? Multi scale, yeah. Well, that's lighter, it was almost lighter than that. That's a wide multi scale. So that's a 35 and a half to 34. So it's only an inch and a half fan, but that 35 and a half is pretty freaking long. It's pretty freaking long. That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah, she said no, she doesn't. No? Okay. So. And more and more, and this is a fluff guitar. Correct. Well, we're not talking about that because you know what? This is not something about beards and riffs. Everyone knows that guitar anyway. Where's your beard? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I was at, uh, at Denny's and then the old Chapman team came in yeah. and had, had, had a breakfast. And I'm running over them and said, guys, does everyone have to have a beard working for Chapman? And it's apparently a prerequisite. Oh, okay. Because uh, everyone in there had a beard, including the women. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Well, Joe, thank you so much. Thank you, Henning. You make some nice stuff. Thank you, I appreciate it. If you ever want someone to bitch about it and review them, you know where to find me? I would love to. Let's do that. Awesome. Uh, for you guys, because we want to hear them. I mean, yeah, they're pretty and all that, but we actually want to yeah. hear them. And yeah, man. Them, yeah. We'll do that. Awesome. Uh, animals at the end, go away now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.